Alexa, volume 10. You know the problem with Alexa being at volume 10 is? Alexa can't hear you when you want to turn it down to volume Yeah, yeah, 1. Alexa's hearing is only good like volumes 4 down. You have to go volume 11 for Alexa on volume 10 to hear you commanding it to go to 1. Wouldn't it be awesome if Alexa would go to volume 11? Anyway, that's not what we're here for. I'm Armin Hammer, that's Justin LaFranco, and we're not in the middle of Wadapalooza because we can't find anywhere quiet to record. Nope. So, with all the technical shenanigans we're dealing with, this is going to be... As good as it gets. Uh, a quick update after event four for both the teams and the individuals. So Justin, what did we see happen on the individual side for event four? Give it to me quickly. Quickly, Noah Olsen killed it. Krilled he was, it. He was in the first he heat, not it. with the big dogs. He still finished third, almost two seconds away from being in second place. Kudos on him for moving from 19th to 12th, but it is Mr. Patrick Vellner, who continues Unbelievable to performance. dominate. Out of a man who is literally allergic to water. Very, very good job. Staying in first place. Wow. Overall. How does that even happen? On the women's side, who did we see take control of this thing? I think we all know her name. T. Claire Toomey. Oh my God, was that beautiful. I mean, she even had a great little flex off at the end. Damn, did she just dominate Here's everybody. Here's the thing that people missed, and they might not have seen this even if it what was they on missed? the live stream. Tell me, bro. 150 unbroken double unders with a heavy rope. She went ham on that. She came out almost 60 seconds behind Colleen Foch as the number two person out of the water. And to make up the time, she went unbroken with a heavy rope. That includes the risk of getting a five rep penalty at the end. And then she went ham on the ski erg to finish only a couple of seconds ahead of Sarah Sigginsauter in second, and then Colleen Foch in number third. Amazing. Team side of things, Ooh. you guys, something is a brewing. A miss. Something's wrong. Something dreadful is going on. And that dreadful thing is USS not Mayhem one, sinking. but two DNFs for Mayhem, guys. Something really serious is happening here. We're trying to get to the bottom of it, but essentially here's what we saw happen. Mayhem Freedom, the main Mayhem team, including Rich uh, and the crew, has been just slowly Struggling. sinking, like Titanic style, underneath the waves of the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, it's not looking good, guys. It's not looking good. We're trying to get to the bottom of it, trying to figure out what's going on. You don't but know if we it's had... an injury or if it's something else that's going on, but yeah. they are clearly not the classical, classic Straight Mayhem Straight up we're used DNF to. on this event, which yeah. is out, absolutely out of character and also leaves me in a really, really bad position yeah. that Travis Williams might actually win the bet that I made with him. And it is driving me crazy. Have okay. You hit, have you hit the ATM yet? Oh God, I don't have, I don't know. Travis is killing you. me. But I'll spot you. I, hey, you know what we did see? We saw Travis's team do okay, yeah. but also have the miscommunication that I expected them to have on the worm. So, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Either way, that, that's probably not good. Either way, <laughs> what, I, what I enjoyed seeing was the other Mayhem team actually come together and put together a really strong performance. It is going to really be a tough, whoop, here we go. Break for Jet. I actually scheduled that flyover for you guys, so, um, and we're still going, we're still going, we're still going. Here we go. We have one event left tonight. We have two events probably tomorrow, yep. maybe more scored events kind of folded in there. But really, there is not a lot left here. The points that the athletes have earned up until this point with four events through the weekend, those are basically going to be setting the buffers for what's going forward. So what we're gonna see from here on out is very unlikely to be giant swings and much more likely to be all those little point gaps between first, second, third, fourth on both the men's and women's sides really starting to be, uh, you know, pay off in competitive excitement when it comes to the following events. Especially tonight's event, which is about to start in like 20 minutes from us recording and it's probably have already started by the time this goes up. So it's gonna be really good, right? What are we gonna see tonight? It's the Ocho, Ocho Chipper. Chipper. Yeah, so gymnastics, barbell, chipping, Ochos. It's gonna be wild. See you guys tomorrow.